good morning. Uh, my name is Benjamin, as most of you guys know. And uh, for the first time in decades, folks, life expectancy in the United States has actually gone down, which is insane, especially with all the technological advancements and health benefits that have been raised. Life expectancy shouldn't be going down. Uh, the leading factor for the increase, uh, this increase is uh, the increase of obesity in the United States, which heightens the risk of heart disease. Heart disease actually is the leading cause of death in the United States. Last year alone, um, the uprise in obesity caused over 300,000 deaths in the United States. And it's only becoming more prevalent as the time goes on. With an increase of obesity in the United States and an increase of unhealthy food, I want to persuade you to reduce your intake of fast food. I know that might sound weird. Uh, why fast food? I know it's so good and uh, so easy, so fast, right? It's actually taking a toll on our health every single day. Uh, study finds the consumption of fast food has a significant increase in obesity. On average, Americans spend about $1,200 a year on fast food. In 2014, the fast food industry had a revenue of $198.9 billion, and it only seems to be going up. In 2020, it is predicted that that industry of fast food here in the United States alone will have a $223.9 billion revenue. Now let's talk a little bit about obesity. It's become an epidemic, folks. Uh, in 2010, over 90.5 billion Americans were considered obese, which means over one third of us were considered obese. I'm not saying us, I know we're all healthy folks here, but in the United States, one third of the United States was considered obese. Obesity has an epidemic here in the United States accounts for 300,000 deaths a year since the Sage Journal. Well, why is this happening? Why is this happening? So, our excess amount of unhealthy food consumption illuminates the recent increase of obesity in our country, which plays a vital role on the way, on the why life expectancy actually went down. Uh, Common health consequences of obesity include diabetes, musculoskeletal disorder, excuse me, cardiovascular disease, which also includes heart and stroke, which in recent years, like we discussed, have been the leading cause of death in the United States. Although obesity and unhealthy eating habits have become more prominent within our society, Today, a drastic change in diet can drastically improve your health. This change is very simple, folks. Very simple. While eating fast food, like I said, tastes good, it's super fast, super quick, it's super convenient, super cheap, it's also taking a toll on your health because of all the calories, the bad sodiums, and the unhealthy proteins and sugars, which alters your metabolic factors and increased chances of heart disease and obesity. A study conducted by the University of Minnesota found that consumption of fast food once a week, just once a week, increases the risk of dying from heart disease by 20%. That increases to 50% if you consume fast food twice or three times a week. Substitutes <laughs> just find a healthy solution. Super quick. Eat more healthy foods, more healthy fats, more colorful, colorful greens, and more colorful fruits. High quality protein and organic dairy. Improving diet is one of the most vital steps towards preventing heart disease. We can visualize the benefits to a healthy diet by contrasting the pros and cons of eating fast food and eating healthy. Okay, so fast food of uh, pro, excuse me, fast food would be it saves time, it's cheap, but it also heightens the risk of shortening your lifespan. One of the biggest advantages of fast food, oh, is it saves time, we just said that. The con 
On the flip side, to fast food is it heightens the risk of death up to 80% increase for those who consume it four times a week. So we just spoke about consuming one or two times. There's some people that are consuming it almost every single day, after work, after class, four times a week. <laughs> Raise that up to 80% increase of heart failure. So, what are the pros of a healthy lifestyle, a healthy eating lifestyle? Preparation can actually increase your lifespan. On the flip side, healthy eating can take more time to prepare, in which is a lot slower than fast food. A quick solution to this is just meal preparation. The night before, you can prepare your meals for the following day so you can be able to track what sorts of calories you're intaking uh, and what foods you'll intake, because it is important, folks. A pro, on the flip side, because we just said the calm was, uh, takes a little bit of time, a pro of healthy diet is the prevention of obesity and heart disease. Along with eating more fruits and vegetables, that alone could increase our health, our lifespan. In conclusion, uh, I urge you to cut fast food from your diet. Find healthy substitutes, a salad instead of fries, black beans instead of brown. This simple diet change can have a huge impact on your life and increasing the lower and increasingly lowers the risk of obesity. A decrease in lifespan within the United States is a serious matter and something we cannot overlook. We must change the narrative for the future of our country and the health of its people. It starts here. We must reduce the amount of fast food we consume.